Archer Aviation may build personal aircraft sooner than Ehang. People who are interested in personal aircrafts should now be saving up to buy the AAVs that are soon to appear on the market. We are talking about EV toll vehicles. That stands for Electric Vehicle Takeoff and Landing. Today, we'll look at the Archer Aviation Project and its prospects and compare the flying taxi by Archer with the AAV by the Chinese company Ehang. The sphere of vertical takeoff machines only just started to develop. But even now, we are seeing the competition is going to be insane. The air taxi is the most prospective project of many big cities. For example, Dubai city authorities have signed an agreement with Ehang to develop their city air taxi infrastructure through 2025. Also, United Airlines placed an order for 200 of Archer's aircrafts. Surprisingly, the world doesn't see the AAVs and EV tolls as something mythical. Companies are starting to buy a lot of them, and we need to dig into details if we want to understand what's actually going on in the air travel sphere. Archer Aviation EV Toll Vehicle What's good? The company says that they are going to produce and sell urban electric jets. They will be very comfortable and fast, extremely maneuverable, and also eco-friendly. They named the aircraft the Maker, and this machine will probably change the way we look at aviation. For now, people only use aviation transport to commute to long distances, like between cities. The Archer Maker will allow people to travel a few miles in a matter of minutes in their own private space. The vehicle is now being tested and certified, so we expect that in 2023, they will start their campaign to sell the first aircrafts to big-name companies. We can't say much now about the technology used and the specs that the Archer Maker will have. This will be a super light two-seater aircraft with 12 propellers mounted on the wings. This will allow the vehicle to take off and land vertically without the need for a runway. Then, when the aircraft is in the air, the propellers will turn to a working direction to push the plane forward. The six rear propellers are remained mounted in the upward position to ensure proper altitude and cuts off when that altitude is reached. Each of the front propellers can move separately. They are all managed by the computer, so the pilot won't need to worry about their positions. Archer also has developed its own battery pack called the Maru battery. This is a 74 kilowatt per hour pack that ensures the maximum power of 672 kilowatts. There is a bunch of sensors that allows the Archer Maker to take off and land autonomously. But bear in mind that this is not an AAV. Archer isn't fully autonomous, at least in current versions. The Maker can travel 60 miles at a cruise speed of 150 miles per hour. That's not bad if you compare it with other air taxi projects. Its lightweight composite structure helps reduce the power needed to travel your desired distance. One of the most important things is that the Maker is very quiet. Its noise measurements show only levels of 45 dBA outside the machine. So you can have a hundred Makers flying over your head and it would be dramatically quieter than all the cars on the road. Is Ehang better? Well, it's not that fair to compare the Archer Maker and the Ehang 216. The Ehang passenger drone is a little different and it will have different tasks. But Ehang has one project that can easily be compared with the Archer Maker. The Ehang VT30 may be even better than the Archer Maker in many terms. But the problem is that the Ehang VT30 is far away from being the mass produced model. The VT30 is going to be a winged aircraft with eight propellers mounted on both sides of the vehicle and also one pushing propeller. The AAV will be fully autonomous, like other Ehang models. The range is going to be 186 miles, which is much more than the Maker. The VT-30 will be able to carry two people, which is good for such a small-sized aircraft. The maximum flight time is 100 minutes per one charge, and now it all depends on batteries. The company that will offer better and lighter battery packs that can be charged quite fast will win the competition. Also, Ehang is going to introduce fully autonomous flights so there won't be any pilots. The Archer Maker will still require someone who knows what they are doing. What are the time plans for production? It's not that easy of a task to produce a certified aerial vehicle, 
In 2021, Archer only started the FAA certification process, and the first certificate will only allow the company to provide test flights in certain areas. In 2022 to 2023, they are going to build and test fly their first production model. And in 2024 to 2025, they will receive the full FAA certification and start operation in Miami and Los Angeles. We hope that EV tolls will operate in major cities by 2025. And this is a very optimistic prediction. And we are looking forward to having a test flight on one of them as soon as possible.